Well, experience matters more in today's real estate market than I think ever before. And so pleased to have one of the Maybaum pros with us, Sandra Cullinan. How are you, Sandra? I'm doing good, Neil. Thank you for having me. It's great for you to be here. And uh, I, I did a check and right now there's about 22 real, 2200 real estate agents in the area. There's a lot. There's a lot. When did you get started and do you remember what kind of competition you had? Um, when I first started, I had steep competition. That's back in the Claire Stone days. Okay, sure. And um, she was one of a kind. Yeah. Did a fabulous job. And now her daughter's involved. Is and that, her daughter yeah. is doing real estate now. Yeah. But it's been almost 25 years now. Wow. That I've been selling and have enjoyed every minute. Have every you minute. Have you ever seen an economic climate in real estate as you do right now? We, I've been through some times, um, but this has to be um, one of the biggest seller's market that I've seen since I got into real estate. Yeah, and before we went on, you mentioned that you did a, a listing call, yes, right, yes. for a seller. and, yeah. and Got just, it listed. Okay. Yes. <laughs> You're going to sell it in 24 hours, 48 hours? Hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> but it's that quick. It's that quick. It's wow. that quick right now. That's amazing. Well, as we said, it's uh, it's March 9th as we record. So we're approaching spring and summer. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm guessing it's still the prime time for people to move in because the schools and such coming up. Uh, School, um, getting summertime. out, yeah. summertime, a lot of relocation during that period of time. Um, so it is a great time to put your house on the market. If you're thinking about selling Call me up, have me out, and let's see what you need to do to get the house ready. And so March 9th, so how soon does someone need to prepare to try to, to sell? Depending on what they need to do to a house, is um, it's best to call your realtor, get me out there, let me see the house, let me walk through it, tell you the things that need to be done, and then go from there. Um, there's do's and don'ts always in real estate that um, where you need to spend the money, where you can pull back and not spend it, mm -hmm. um, where you're going to recoup the most money if you do certain things. So um, you definitely want to make sure that you're not spending money where it doesn't need to be spent and spending it in the right places. Now, what kind of an impact does a little golf tournament have in April on the <laughs> process? It has a little bit because it is harder to get contractors. Okay. Um, so you want to go ahead and get prepared, get them lined up so that they're working on your house. You're in line to get done because a lot of con people do things to their houses that time of the year um, when ma getting prepared for masters because they want to rent their houses and they mm -hmm. have to be to a certain specification to be able to do so. So you want to call as soon as possible because it'll be here before you know it. And the best way to get started, get in touch with Sandra Cullen. And uh, I love the website, soldbysandra.com, <laughs> and the phone number. And really a lot of excellent information is on there, including reviews. And I hope it was okay, but we plucked one off of there from uh, Latanya Durden Helms. Does the name ring a bell? Yes, it does. Oak Ridge Plantation. Okay. Sold her house in South Augusta very, very quickly. That's outstanding. All right. Well, here's what she says about you. Okay. All right. Close your ears. If uh, <laughs> No, it's actually very nice. Mrs. Cullinan made the selling of our home very comfortable and welcoming. She kept us very informed. We never had to worry about the next step because she spoke with us on a daily basis. Really? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. And, and why is that important? Well, if you've ever sold a house, then sometimes you know the process. But if you've never sold a house, you need to be informed as to what to expect. So I always try to make sure whatever the client needs is that I'm there for them to give them that. So right. if they don't need me every day or as much, that's fine. Sure. But if they do, I'm there yeah. to answer any questions along the way. What type of questions, like how much do I, should I clean to get ready for an open house or what would be typical questions? Um, some questions are about um, people in scheduling open houses, uh, scheduling appointments. What do I need to do? How long should I be out of the house? Just everyday questions that you don't really think of sure. to start with. 
Well, Latanya wasn't finished. There's wait, there's more. <laughs> Anytime we called, Sandra always answered. She never made us feel like we were bothering her. It was a true pleasure. And we look forward to referring others. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's great to hear. And it's always good to hear. Yeah. Um, are there folks like Latanya, maybe when you first started? back in, I guess, back in the 1990s that mm -hmm. you've continued to help? Oh, yes. This is not the first house that I have. I sold this house to LaTanya and her family uh, 15 years prior. Wow. And they called me to sell it, and they called me to buy their next house as well. So it's a good, it's a, it's a great industry to be in, and it makes you feel good that people appreciate the time and effort that you gave to them. And I always treat people the way I would want to be treated in a transaction. And I remember the first house I sold, I was just like, didn't know anything. Um, I was young. I was not in real estate. Mm -hmm. And I was looking for a home for my family. And I was not treated the way I felt like years later that I should have been treated. And I said, I'm going to do this differently. And went to real estate school. Congratulations. And now you're one of the top of the class of 2200, but experience does matter, as we <laughs> mentioned, particularly in 2022 with such a seller's market. And once again, if you'd like to get your home listed, it's soldbysandra.com. And if you'd like representation, if you're buying, you can help as well. Absolutely. Uh, I wanted to ask you, so this is the first time you've done a podcast, right? Absolutely. A video podcast? This is it. What, what do you think so far? So far, this is great. <laughs> it's oh, like good. having a conversation with a friend. Oh, well, <laughs> that's wonderful. And David and Chris, the, the fellows here who put the podcast studio together, tries to always make it feel like you're at home. Uh, their website is getupproductions.com. Uh Get Up Productions, and uh, you can just uh, go to their website or check out the information on the screen, and you can get started as well.